friends. It's your girl Desi, and I'm back away. This is the first video. So I mean, I figured I'd just keep it simple with y'all since this is the first video. And I mean, some of y'all know who I am. Some of y'all might not. So we're gonna keep it simple, and this is just gonna be a Q and A. Let's get into it. So basically, um, about a week ago, I put a little question thing on Instagram. Just saying, what did y'all want to know about me? I put it on Facebook too. And y'all know, I just had a few of y'all comment. So some of the questions were like kind of the same. So I put a lot of them together and I just came up with some questions. And I'm just going to answer them for y'all. Because look, from this point on, we friends now, okay? We friends. So let's get into it. Where are you from? So I'm from Newport News, Virginia, but I do go to school in Richmond. So Richmond is technically where I live. But I mean... I'm really back and forth. I mean, you catch me where you catch me, for real. Alright, up next. What do you study and where do you go to school? So, I do go to school. I am a junior at VCU um, in Richmond. And I, as of this year, I'm a double major in music and history. So, I mean, I love history. It is so... I just get really excited about things. I like to research different things and stuff like that. I would really like to be a history teacher. And, I mean, I've always had a love for music. It's always just kind of been there in my life. My mother used to teach music. My dad and I played tuba. So, everybody in my family also plays an instrument. So, I mean, music has always just been there. It's always just been something that I've just loved and it's always been a part of my life. So I am a double major in music and history. So what sparked your interest in makeup? Well, I don't know if anything specific sparked my interest in makeup, but I've, I've just always enjoyed doing it. Um, I was first allowed to put makeup on in like the sixth or seventh grade, but I started small, you know, just a little bit of mascara, a little eyeshadow, a little lipstick. Now, I mean, I know a lot more, obviously, but like, maybe if you saw me in middle school, I'm sorry. I'm just going for, I'm just gonna apologize now. Like, if you saw me in middle school, I apologize, okay? I really do. I just feel like me, myself, knowing how to do it, it's so much easier like I don't have to pay nobody if I'm going to a special event I mean that's how a lot of things are with me I DIY everything I save my money cuz maybe we gotta save up for that Tesla sis we gotta save up for the light the lifestyle you know I gotta save up. I don't like to spend my money even when it comes down to my hair I do my own hair I did my braids I do everything cuz like you know people out here they really like real life they spend hundreds of dollars on that stuff. No, look up a little video, do a little bit of trial and error, kind of figure out how to do it yourself. Yeah, period. What are your career goals? Ugh, love this question. So my career goals. Ever since I was a child, I wanted to be a teacher. Like. I had stuffed animals when I was a child, and like, you know them big box TVs? Yeah, I had one of those. And so I used to like line my stuffed animals up on the floor, and I would write on the box TV with an Expo marker, like, like it, like it was a whiteboard or something. I would teach them all the different things, and I just, teaching has always been something I enjoy. I love teaching. Um, I want, I've if I go, if I'm a teacher in history, I would prefer to teach high school. I think that's when, when it really became clear to me that I loved history. And so I would really like to teach history in high school. What do I value? I really, really value 
my relationship that I have with my family members a lot. Um, I think I just value relationships, period. Because, like, my relationship with Christ is so important. And with my family, it was very important. And as well as my friends. Um, I'm single. And, sweetie, I am mingling. I just really value, value like, relationships and stuff like that. And, and especially, like, trust, respect, just things like that. I really value that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, like, my parents, I love them to death. Um, we're like, I'm like this with my family members. Like, yeah, I just really value relationships and stuff like that. What are my hobbies? Well, if you follow me on TikTok, obviously, that's that's one of my hobbies. That's became one of my hobbies in 2020, especially with the quarantine, because I don't know. Like, if you haven't been on TikTok, you missing out. I'm just telling you, like, TikTok is that and more. I mean, I love TikTok. I can stay on it for hours. I can make them for hours. I love TikTok. Um, another one of my hobbies is probably anything I require, like, involves beauty. I love doing hair. I love doing my own hair. I love doing other people's hair. Makeup? Every chance I get, I'm doing something new. Like, on my face. I love doing makeup. I love it. I love it. Something else I really enjoy as a hobby is so, I'm in the process of, like, you know, starting my own business or whatever. It's a cosmetics business. I really enjoy my planning process in that. I find a lot of enjoyment in it. Like, I get really excited when, like, I see parts of my idea for my business come to life. Like, like when I, like, made my, my website. I was like, wow, like... This is it, like it's happening, like a goal of mine is starting to be reached, like this is very um gee. Yeah, that would definitely be one of my hobbies. I really, really enjoy just planning and like really doing my business stuff. Even though it's not launched yet, I'm just really like that really brings me a lot of excitement. So what is my favorite song right now? You know, it is Christmas time, so Deck the Halls, the Pentatonics one, Gotta Get It Right Girl. That would be my favorite song right now, only because it's December. But if you ask me outside of December, um, well last month, Good Days by SZA, I love that song. Team Apple or Team Android, y'all please, please. I'm begging you, do not come for me. But I'm team Android. <laughs> but it's a new Android. I have a Samsung S20, so like, don't come for me, please. You know, like, Apple cool and all, but I don't know. I've been rocking with Samsung since day one, okay? So, oh well, you just gonna have to look at the green bubble today. Why did you start a YouTube channel? Um, so, I've actually wanted to start a YouTube channel since I was like 16, and if you look at my channel thing, and it, I don't know if it can, it shows you how long I've been on YouTube, but it, I've been on YouTube since 2016, I am 20 years old, and so I've been on YouTube for four years, and in 2016, I made like three videos, but like, you know, I was also 16, so they're cringy, so I definitely took those down. I think, personally, I've just never known what to put on it. Um, I've never known, like, what kind of content I wanted to do, but I just knew I wanted to do content. And so, this year, I started 25 days of TikTok Christmas, where I was just filming a little different makeup look that pertains to Christmas. But, you know, when you think about it, like... You could get a little nervous around the camera, whatever. And so I, you know, I would get a little bit nervous. And so I think I was always just afraid to like post the video and stuff. Cause like sometimes I would actually have like a YouTube video recorded. I'd be like, wow, you know, let's start this channel today. 
but I think what's really helped me was TikTok Christmas because had like y'all not giving me the love and the support that y'all were giving me on TikTok Christmas I don't I think I still to this day my confidence would have been low and I just wouldn't be able to do a YouTube channel like oh my gosh like y'all are such a blessing I'm glad that God has blessed you all my life because I just you know I just don't think I would have been able to you know get here and I don't think my confidence would have been high enough or whatever to start this what's a weird skill you have okay I would say that a weird skill that I have is knowing random facts like like I just know weird stuff like random weird stuff like for instance yesterday was it yesterday the, we're gonna say the other day because I definitely don't remember what day it was. <clears throat> but the other day, um, you know, I don't know why, but I just really got into like researching like the death penalty and like death by legal injection and like the electric chair. And I started learning facts about it and like how like legal injection works and all sorts of other stuff just for grins and giggles or just because I wanted to like it's never for a reason and then somebody also asked me what my testimony is I think because my testimony holds so much weight to it and you know why I am a Christian woman I think I'm gonna save that question for another video yeah so I mean I hope y'all got to know a little something, something about me in this video you know um from now on, we friends, okay? Y'all my friends. I'm your friend. We friends now. So, I mean, stay tuned. I'm going to keep posting, y'all, because I'm telling y'all, this YouTube thing is really going to make my confidence go high, and I'm just glad to be starting this journey with y'all. Um, This is such an exciting new peak in my life. I'm glad to be starting this new chapter with y'all. So... Y'all stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye, friends.